Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Science Intellectual. In this video, we are discussing two sections that come under Chapter 4 of Indian Patents Act 1970. The heading of Chapter 4 is Publication and Examination of Applications. And the sections that we are discussing in this video are Section 20, Power of Controller to make orders regarding substitution of applicants, etc. And Section 21, Time for putting application in order for grant. Let's discuss Section 20, Power of Controller to make orders regarding substitution of applicants, etc. Subsection 1 says, if the controller is satisfied with the claim that by virtue of any assignment or agreement in writing manner, not in verbal mode, by the applicant or any one of the applicants for the patent or by operation of law, the claimant would be entitled thereto or to the interest of the applicant or to an undivided share of the patent or of that interest. But the patent were then should be granted. The controller in that case may direct the application shall proceed in the name of the claimant or claimants and the applicant or the joint applicants accordingly. The relevant rule is Rule 34. Here it says such a claim should be made in Form 6 any time before grant of patent. And second point discussed in Rule 34 is original assignment or agreement or official copy or notarized copy shall be provided at controller's office and the controller may call for such other proof of title or written consent if he requires. Subsection 2 under Section 20. No such direction, that is the direction made by the controller, will be given by virtue of any assignment or agreement made by one of two or more joint applicants for a patent except with the consent of other joint applicant or applicants. That is, in the agreement or assignment, everyone should give consent for equal and undivided share. Subsection 3 no such direction will be given by virtue of assignment or agreement unless a. The invention is identified in the agreement or assignment by giving reference to the number of application. That is, reference of application number of the patent should be mentioned in the agreement or assignment. b. There is an assignment or agreement produced before the controller by the person to whom it was made, indicating that assignment or agreement relates to the invention in respect of which the application is made. That is, in the assignment or agreement, the invention should be properly mentioned for which the assignment or agreement has been made and for which the patent application has been made. C. The rights of the claimant in respect of the invention have been finally established by the decision of court. And D. Controller takes the decision after hearing the disputed party or parties, that is in case of any dispute regarding the party's decision. In that case, controller will take the decision after hearing the parties as per the proceedings. And that too under section 20, subsection 5. Subsection 4 under Section 20 Where one of two or more joint applicants of a patent dies at any time before the grant of the patent, upon request made by the survivor or survivors and with the consent of legal representative of the deceased, the controller may direct the application should be proceeded in the name of survivor or survivors alone. That is, in case of any patent application where one of two or more joint applicants dies before the grant of the patent and survivor or survivors request to the controller 
with the consent of legal representative of the deceased or dead person the controller may give direction that the application will be having the name of the survivor or survivors alone the relevant rule is rule 35 here also the mention of form 6 is there and the form 6 should be accompanied by proof of death of the joint applicant and certified copy of the probate of the will of the deceased or letter of administration in respect of his estate or any other document to prove that the person who gives the consent is the legal representative of the deceased applicant. Subsection 5 under section 20. Now what will happen in case of any dispute case? It was referred in subsection 3 also. Subsection 5 says if any dispute arises between joint applicants for a patent as to whether or in what manner the application will be proceeded with, the controller may, upon application made to him through Form 6 by any of the parties and giving an opportunity to be heard, that is hearing, to all parties concerned, controller may give direction as he thinks fit for enabling the application to proceed in the name of one or more of the parties alone or for regulating the manner in which it should be proceeded with or for both of those purposes as the case may require. The relevant rule is Rule 36. The Form 6 is mentioned here and it will be accompanied by the statement setting out fully the facts upon which the applicant relies and the directions which he seeks. That is, what is the dispute about? and what direction he needs to have and copy of application and statement shall be sent by the controller to every other joint applicant let's come to section 21 time for putting application in order for grant it's a very important section under indian patents act 1970 subsection 1 says an application for a patent shall be deemed to have been abandoned if it is not complied with the requirement imposed on him by or under this act within such period from the date on which first statement of objection to the application or complete specification or other documents related thereto is forwarded to the applicant by the controller. That is, after filing complete specification, Request for examination is done and after that first statement of objection or first examination report is sent by the controller to the applicant. Now within a stipulated time, applicant has to reply to that first statement of objection or first examination report. If he doesn't, in that case, application will be abandoned. So section 21 is a tool for rejection by the controller. Refusal for grant of patent under this section can even be done without prior order. Subsection 2 under Section 21. If at the expiration of the period as prescribed under Subsection 1, an appeal to the High Court is pending with respect to the main invention patent application, or in case of patent of addition, an appeal to the High Court is pending in respect of the main invention or patent of addition invention application. The time within which the requirement of the controller shall be complied with on an application made by the applicant before the expiration of such period be extended until such date as High Court may determine. That is, after issuance of the FER, applicant needs to comply with the requirement. Now in case any court matter is pending before High Court, in that case, if applicant files any request for extra time and High Court gives permission for having extra time, in that case, applicant may have extra time. The relevant rule is Rule 24B. 
The time for putting application in order for grant under Section 21 is 6 months from the date of issue of FER. And time mentioned above may be further extended for a period of 3 months if applicant requests for that through Form 4 for extension of time and with fee to the controller before expiry of the period of 6 months. Subsection 3. If the time within which the appeal mentioned in subsection 2 may be instituted has not expired, the controller may extend the time for which the applicant may comply the requirement, provided if an appeal has been filed during said father period and High Court has granted extension of time for complying with the requirement and requirement may be complied within the time granted by the court. That is, if court permits extra time to comply the requirement of the controller, then controller can also extend the time as per the court's decision. Relevant rule is Rule 24C. The time for putting an application in order for grant under Section 21 is 6 months from the date on which FER is issued. The time for putting an application in order for grant as prescribed under Subrule 10 may be further extended up to 3 months on a request for extension made in Form 4 along with fee to the controller and before expiry of 6 months. The controller shall dispose the application within a period of 3 months from the date of last reply to FER and or within period of 3 months from the last date to put the application in order for grant under Section 21, whichever earlier. Here are the relevant form and fees that comes under Section 20 and 21. Thank you all for watching the video. Please give a like and share and subscribe our channel Scientelectual. We are providing the informations of sections, rules, forms and fees that comes under Indian Patents Act 1970. Our aim is to provide all the necessary information that will be very helpful during the preparation of Indian Patent Agent exam. Thank you again.